Hey guys, it's uh, Howard here. I just had a session with Simeon and I wanted to share it with you guys um, on how to do quotes in the new world. So I will do that now. I was making some mistakes before and he set me straight, straight so I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm going to make a new opportunity from scratch and I'm just going to go over here and say new and um, type something into here that would be uh, something that we might actually do. Um, it seems like you do want to have um, some of these fields filled in, which I wasn't doing before. So um, I'm going to pull up my contact. up the account and these required fields the ones with the uh, red guys you have to fill in so you put any old thing in there um, for some reason it's it's asking you to enter an amount I don't know why because you don't know how much it's going to be yet so just put a placeholder in there and now there's an error it probably has to do with the USA oh yeah and then here is just simpleplex. So just start typing SI and it'll pull up simpleplex. And then we're going to save that. Okay, so we're going to use the standard price book, um, which is obvious, uh, unless you use academic, um, depending on what you're quoting. So for this, we're not going to add products from the opportunity. We're going to add products from the quote. So I'm going to close this now. And then what I was doing, I was making a mistake before. What I was doing was I was adding products here uh, and then making a quote from there. But what Simeon wants us to do is to make the quote first and add products from there. So up here, rather than um, down here, up here where it says create quote, go ahead and do that. Uh, this would be the main price book um, unless you were quoting service or something like that, and that would be this one. So we're going to click next, and then we have a um, an empty quote with no products in it, and uh, so now we're in the quote. See, uh, we're no longer in the opportunity, um, uh, but you're going to see some filtering that you wouldn't get otherwise. So that's why you want to use this. So rather than, uh, so what we're going to do here is under um, edit, we're going to say. Um, I'm sorry, uh, under this drop down, we're going to say edit lines. So don't say edit here, but go to edit lines. And uh, what you're going to see is some filtering that will really make um, you happy, particularly you, Steve. Um, and then we're going to say um, add products. And then we're going to start typing. So I'm going to say SD13, for instance. And boom, it pulls up all of our, um, all of our uh, things. So, so rather than looking out into the big, big, big world, it's just looking in our subset. So it, you're not going to have to look at those 40, 400,000 products anymore. So I think this works for controls and certificates as well. Um, for instance, if you just put in the word certificate here and then search, then you'll have the certificates that you want um, and then select and then you'll have to put in the um, quantities. Uh, I guess it automatically defaults it to one. Um, let me do it again and I'm going to put up um, try to find another sample deal unit cartridge or something. So for the cartridge, SP, CKB, and then whatever your marker is, BCMA, boom, pulls it right up. Fantastic. Uh, and I, oh, by the way, under filtering here, if you're finding it's finding too many things, you can filter by product name Ella, and that will sort everything down. So that helps a lot, 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 this um, filter button here. Of course, it just killed my uh, SPCA for some reason. Oh, I'm sorry, not product name. Product family is Ella. 
boom. There we go. Click on that. Uh, I guess it's defaulting to one. Let's see. All right, uh, let's see, what else did I want to uh, share with you? Um, once you've saved this, uh, it turns out that you can have your quote update your opportunity rather than doing it the way I used to do it, which was go into the opportunity, make all the, um, add all the products, and then have that pull the quote. But you can do it in reverse using this format. So if we're using, if we're inside the quote and adding the lines inside the quote, then all you have to do is come over here and make this primary. And I think it's just like a double click on that uh, and save. Uh, product terms, of course, are going to be simpleplex and save. And then um, it's going to update the opportunity. So what you're doing essentially is you're saying that this opportunity named here is the primary one and therefore uh, Steelbrick is going to push the, the list of, of items from this quote back into this opportunity so that that will stay updated for you. And then if we ever use Salesforce for reporting or whatever, it would, uh, it would push through. So anyway, I found this tremendously helpful. Um, like I said, you edit lines here. This is also the drop down where you submit for approval and also the drop down where you will generate the document to save the PDF. So anyhow, I find it very helpful um, for me, and I hope this is also helpful for you guys. That's it. Have a good one.